Now it's time to get started with keyword research like a pro, and you don't even need to be a genius to do it. In fact, it is quite easy once you understand a few basic principles before going ahead. So let's get started. I worked with a client many years ago, and they had a major disadvantage on Google as they were not using the right keywords on their website. Their business was all about candles, which should have been straightforward. However, when I did my initial research on their website, I noticed they were optimizing everything for candlesticks, a keyword they were trying to optimize based on their brand. In fact, their developer suggested that they optimize for the brand name instead of the keyword they need to rank for. The result of this was their site had no rankings for candles. So, I made my argument to them that they needed to optimize for the keyword if they wanted to rank for it. To no look, they did not listen. Therefore, their site never ranked on Google for candles. Today, their business is closed. I believe if they had tried to rank for candles, things could have been different. The point being is you need to focus mostly on what the searcher is looking for when optimizing for Google. Don't just optimize for what you feel like optimizing for to suit the brand, but instead optimize for what the searcher is looking for. If it is electricians, optimize for that. If it's plumbers, optimize for that. If it's wax melts, optimize for that, and so on. Keywords explained. When you use a search engine, you type in a keyword and the search engine searches its index of sites for the most relevant match. Suppose that you typed in wax melts. Generally, the search engines look for things like pages that contain the phrase wax melts, pages that have the terms wax and melts on the page but not even close together, pages that have the phrase wax melts in the title of the website, or links pointing to the website page using wax melts in the anchor text, or pages with synonyms like candle melts. There are two keyword structures, long tail and short tail. When we say keywords, they can be one or more words. For example, candles is different to candles Dublin. Short tail keywords are keywords with one or two words like plumber or plumber Dublin, whereas long tail keywords are key phrases of more than three plus words like plumber near me, bathroom plumbers Dublin. It's good to use a variety of long tail and short tail keywords in your content. For example, your page could be dentists Dublin, and within that page, you will have lots of long tail and short tail keywords spread throughout the page. In later videos, we will discuss where to add your keywords to properly optimize your web pages. The first thing you need to determine is the intent and context of the searcher's query. Intent is what the searcher is looking for. For example, they might be looking for restaurants in Dublin, whereas context is why they are looking for something. For example, when they are looking for restaurants in Dublin City, they are looking for something to eat. That is the need they want to fulfill. It is very important that you understand your user intent and context before developing out your keyword list. Next is to understand the difference between branded and non-branded keywords. For example, lifestyle sports would use lifestyle sports as a branded keyword. A non-branded keyword might be sports runners, track suits, sports leggings, etc. Questions to ask when doing your keyword research, and just to name a few. What is the searcher's search intent? What is the reason for their search? Let's get practical. The first thing you need to do is create an organized keyword research sheet on Google Sheets or Excel. Head on over to Google Drive. Go to Drive. Go to New. Go to Google Sheets. Here you can name the sheet your company name plus keyword research. So in this case, we'll use the satin scent. The satin scent keyword research. Here you want to label down a few main keyword intents. The first is brand intent. First start with branded keywords. This will be the name of your brand, for example, the satin scent. For this example, we will add the satin scent under our brand name intent keywords. You can also use other variations of the name like the satin scent wax melts and any other keyword that's relevant to the brand name. The next type of intent is intent to buy. Here searchers are ready or almost ready. 
They might search for something like wax melts in Dublin or buy wax melts. The next one we want to look at is intent to investigate and learn. Here people are just looking to learn. So they are searching Google for knowledge like best wax melts to buy, how to use wax melts and all keywords like that. That does not mean that this is not an important type of keyword to target. In fact, these are the type of keywords often used when blog writing. They are great for pulling in searches which may later result in a purchase. For example, just to list a few again, what are wax melts? Or wax melts safe how to use wax melts these are all intent to investigate and learn keywords so again they may later go ahead and order wax melts from the website one of our clients the satin scent generates a lot of traffic from their online blog so again people might search on google what are wax melts or wax melt safe keywords like that they find the satin scent blogs or satin scent website pages and then they go on later on to actually purchase wax melts. 